Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a Photoshop to a tattoo in Photoshop. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a tattoo to a person in Photoshop. Much yeah, much better. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to add a person to a Photoshop in tattoo. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. We're doing something really cool today. We're actually taking one image and we're going to strip the tattoo of it and we're going to put it on another person. I'm going to show you guys how to cut it out, how to blend it, how to like get all the highlights and shadows looking right and even how to color it. Really, really cool. If you guys like this episode, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share with all your friends and then leave us a comment down below. What did you like about the episode? What could we improve on? Do you have any ideas, other techniques, things like that? We'd love to hear from you. Let's get into it. So here's our image. This is one of our contest winners from last week. This is Ranagiz image. Really, really cool image. And uh, I just thought, what would it be like if we just added a tattoo here? And this would be a really great idea. Like if you were thinking about getting a tattoo, you can use this exact same method and see what would it look like on you. So kind of a cool idea. This is an image and this is from Glenn Malone. This is uh, from Flickr Creative Commons. And we're going to take this image of this giant cross on this dude's back and we're going to put it on that dude's back because I think it'd be really fun. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, let's just grab our marquee tool. There we go. I don't need the entire of, entirety of the image, so I'm going to just select out what I need. We're going to use our move tool here, and I'm just going to click from one image and drag it to another one. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit F to full screen this image, and then we're going to start to put it in place. So I'm going to just lower the opacity here, and we're going to put this about where I want it to go, and I'm going to hit Command T, to bring up our transform dialog and let's just kind of like bring that in right there and then it's kind of like leaning that way maybe we can just straighten it up a little bit there now if you were going to do this like around the side of someone's arm or something like that you could use the liquify tool or the warp tool to kind of like warp it around in this case we don't really need to do that so i'm just going to show you guys some great tips working with the highlights okay so let's go ahead and make that back visible 100 percent and i want to get this tattoo cut out from the skin now, you could use this with anything. You could turn a drawing into a tattoo. The reason I'm using an existing tattoo is because they, they look like drawings. You know, they, they, like, they look like they're already tattoos, um, the, the line art. So I would recommend either grabbing an existing tattoo off the internet or something like that, or if you did, you know, just have a line art drawing, you could use that, but it wouldn't look exactly like a tattoo. Okay, we're going to grab our magic wand tool here, and basically the idea, what I want to do is just select out some of these areas right around the tattoo. Um, I'm going to turn my tolerance up. If you turn your tolerance up a little bit more, it just basically selects out even more of, uh, of the area. So like if we have a low tolerance, for instance, you can see it's just selecting tiny little areas there. As we bring our tolerance up, it's going to select out more. So if you want to select even more, just hold down the shift key and you can kind of add to your selection. So every time I'm clicking, there we go, it's going to just continue to add to my selection. All right, we're going to click in there a couple times. Click there and, oops, all right, we should be good to go. Now, if it did kind of like get an area like that that you're not too wild about, you can either hold Alt or Option, which will minus the selection, but here I'm kind of worried about it not looking that great. So instead, I'm going to use my lasso tool, and then I'm going to hold down the Shift key, which is going to be, again, adding to your selection, and I'm going to select out that area. Oops. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, and I'm going to subtract this from the area. Okay, I forgot that I was selecting outside of the tattoo, not inside of the tattoo. And the same thing with this guy here. So you don't have to use just one selection tool. You can use a bunch of different selection tools um, and they can kind of, well, I'll just work together to your selection. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to click on my layer mask button and we can see it did do the layer mask, but it's inverted. So I'm going to click here on the layer mask itself and I'm going to hit Command I to invert it. Let's just turn that off and on to see what's going on. Now, let's just use the lasso tool, select out those bits there, and then on my layer mask, we're going to hit shift delete, and I'm going to say fill that with black. It's going to make that invisible, and we're going to deselect. Okay, so now we've got our tattoo, and it's, uh, it's placed on this guy's back. So how do we actually make it look like it's a part of this picture? Okay, we're going to do a lot with blending modes and highlights and shadows and things like that. It's going to be really fun. First thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and change the blending mode, because tattoos, like a lot of tattoos, don't have white in them. They just use the color of the skin to be like the lighter color. Some of the tattoos have white, but in this case we're going to do it like it's the color of the skin. So I'm going to change this layer blend mode from normal down to you could either go to darken 
or we're gonna go down here to multiply. And that's just going to make sure that it's like, you know, it's not gonna make anything lighter, it's only gonna make things darker, which is exactly what we want. Okay, now it doesn't really look that good just yet. So we're gonna put some adjustment layers on there to make it look a little bit better. So I'm gonna go over here to curves, uh, add an adjustment layer, and then I'm gonna right click here and say, create a clipping mask. And that's gonna make this curves adjustment layer only affect this tattoo. So it's not gonna affect the rest of this image, only going to affect the tattoo. And basically what I want to do here is try to figure out like, okay, what, you know, what areas is this actually going to start to look like we want it with, in concern to like, okay, does that look like a tattoo? Um, I need to shrink this down a little bit because it's overlapping the star tattoo. So let's click on there. I'm going to hit Command T and just shrink this down a little bit. You can see, you can do this at like really any point in time. There we go. Okay, so we're starting off looking pretty good. Now the next thing we're gonna do, let's just zoom in a little bit here. I wanna double click right here on my layer mask and we're going to be using the blend if technique to either make this layer visible or not visible depending on if this layer is lighter or if it's darker. So double clicking right here, we're gonna use where it says, let's try to fit everything in here. Okay, here where it says um, this layer and the underlying layer. If you just click on the left side and start to drag this over, it's going to make the layer itself disappear where this layer is darker. From the right, it's going to make this layer disappear where it's lighter. And then here it's going to be based on the visibility of the underlying layer. So we're just going to kind of play around this. Now the key here is instead of just clicking and dragging from one way to the other, you want to hold Alt or Option, and then you can kind of, there we go, you can kind of decide like where this is going to be visible and not visible. All right, let's bring that up right about there. I know it's not perfect yet, but we're just gonna see what it looks like. This curves adjustment layer is kind of affecting us as well. Okay, that's actually looking pretty good. Now, I know this curves adjustment layer isn't doing its job really well right there, but we can always use a layer mask on these adjustment layers to get that looking like what we need. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and colorize it. I'm gonna come back to this right in a second. I'm gonna colorize this to make it look like it's a similar color to what's going on with this tattoo. So we're gonna click on our adjustment layer. I'm gonna to go to Hue, Saturation. We're gonna hit Option, Command, G to clip that as well. And I'm gonna hit this Colorize button. There we go. And let's just give it a nice blue color. Let's just kind of like move that over. And Saturation, we can kind of like bring up our lightness a little bit. All right. Because, you know, tattooing kind of has that like bluish color to it anyway. Okay, looking good. Let's go back into our Curves Adjustment layer and now see I'm just going to kind of restart this, actually. You can click on any of these points and just drag them off if you need to do that. All right, there we go. And how's this looking compared to our other guy? I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, there we go. Now, it's, I kind of want this area to show up up there on the top. So what we're going to do is click on our curve adjustment layer, and then I'm going to paint black on my layer mask. There we go. And we're just gonna paint black right up top there. And that's just gonna allow that area to show through there. So although it's really nice on these areas and things like that, it was just a little bit too, there we go. It was a little bit too much up there on the top. Let's double click here on our layer and change our layer blending options just a little bit more. All right. Maybe just allow a little bit more of the tattoo itself to come in. So you can see it's like a work in progress. These things are just gonna like kind of evolve over time. All right, my edge is just a little bit too sharp right now. So you can see like this is the layer mask, the edge is really sharp on it. So I'm gonna click on this layer mask here and I'm gonna go to select and then I'm gonna go to refine mask. All right, let's just do that again. Select and then refine mask. And then here we can just feather the edge of our mask a little bit and we can kind of like push the edge of it out a little bit. And that's just gonna help, you can see the original, it's kind of like super, well defined there, and then after it just looks like a little bit more, you know, a little bit less high, less quality, I guess. Let's just bring our feathering down a little bit because we kind of want to match this other tattoo that's going on there. Okay, cool. And then we're just going to paint black right at the edge because we, when we feathered that, it uh, it changed the edge as well. All right, that looks pretty good. It might be too saturated still. So what's really nice about using all these adjustment layers and everything like that is that you can always come back and like change them after the fact. Okay, 
Now, what do we do about this hand? We've already got a really nice layer mask here with the, with the cross itself. So I don't really want to go in here and start painting on the layer mask of the cross because what if we needed to move the cross or like change the layer mask or do like a, um, a change the fuzziness just like we did, change the feathering just like we did before. So instead of editing this mask, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift click all those layers and hit command G to group them together. And then I'm going to create a mask for this entire group. And that's just going to make things a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and make this group invisible. And then what we can do is either you can use your brush tool or a lasso tool or a pen tool, whatever you want to do. I'm going to use the lasso tool in this case. There we go. And just kind of like trace right around this arm. Oh, that's not the bottom of the arm. <laughs> Never mind. All right, here we go. And this will get us a, like a pretty rough job with the mask. And then we can go in and refine it with our brush tool if we want to. There we go. Let's select that out as well. Okay, so now we have that area selected out. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to click on our layer mask button. Sorry, we already have a layer mask. I'm, I'm going to hit command I on the layer mask and that's going to make this layer invisible where the layer mask is. Okay. So we have a tattoo now and it's under the arm of the subject and we're looking really, really good. Let's just go ahead and see that's what our curves adjustment layer is doing. This is our layer mask here, the before and the after with that. And this is the coloring of the layer. Now the last thing we're going to do here and it's going to like really make a difference and bring the tattoo to life is we're going to go in, I'm going to create a duplicate of the background layer and then stick it up over top of everything else. And that's going to make it look like the highlights from the skin are coming in over top of the tattoo. This is what makes it look, uh, well, it just makes it look quite a bit more real. So go to your background layer, hit command J and then move that to the very top. Now you can see, obviously you can't see through it, but if I go here to double click on this and I'm going to change this layer's blending mode to where this layer, I don't want it to be visible where this layer is dark. So I'm going to hold alt or option and go from the left to the, to the right and you can see there it's starting to fade in and the reason is it's because it's based on this layer's visibility where this layer is dark it's I'm basically just telling it to not be visible only where it's lighter and I can bring in this side as well and it's going to do the same so based on where I put these two points on the slider you can see if I bring it in here it'll kind of like make my tattoo more transparent there we go so based on where I put these points it, is how the tattoo is actually going to wind up blending into the back of the subject. So this layer you can see is really important because it does make it look quite a bit more real like it actually is part of the back. Let's double click on there. Maybe I'll give it even a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more shine or whatever. All right. This is looking really, really good. So if you wanted to go in here, maybe I just want to make this area just a little bit darker. Let's just grab a curves adjustment layer right here make that top area just a little bit darker. There we go. Hit command I on the layer mask and then I'm going to paint white right up there. Just kind of like fill it in and there we go. Make it look a little bit more even. All right. And then it looks really good on the bottom there. So the other really cool thing about this guys is because we used a separate layer mask for the hand and for the tattoo, if I want to move the tattoo around, I can still do the, I can still do that. So here I'm going to click on this tattoo and I can still use my move tool. And you can see because the skin is coming from a layer that's on top of everything, I can still move this around and it's going to look, well, it's going to look really good pretty much no matter where I put it. I can move it up and down, things like that. I can hit command T, we can shrink it down and move it up and around here as well. So just a really, really cool method to put a tattoo on a person. You know what? I think we will shrink it up a little bit more and there we go. That looks pretty good. And there we go. We've got a seamless tattoo on a person from one image to another. Guys, thanks so much for watching Fleur and I hope this helps out. If you guys are thinking about getting a tattoo, this could be a pretty good way to do it. If you want to put a nasty tattoo on someone you don't like that makes them look really mean, you can do that too. Let us know, what ideas do you have about putting a tattoo on someone? Leave them in a comment right down below here on YouTube. And if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Thanks a bunch, guys. We'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. Cool. Bye. Peace out, homie. Bye.